Before we begin Unit 6, here is the answer to the Unit 5 question. The best answer is choice B. People tend to eagerly invest time and energy toward understanding or learning about things that are of interest to them. Although it certainly helps if the students consider the Sustainability Education Fund, the essential key to successful infusion of environmental education is identifying proper infusion points and demonstrating relevance. SEA does not recommend rewriting curricula or spending significant time discussing a sustainability issue at the expense of achieving the original learning objective. Unit 6. Environmental Science is Everything. Take a moment to look around you and really concentrate on your environment. Consider not only your immediate location, but also the entire surroundings extending from you outward to a one mile radius. If you had to list every living entity and inanimate object within that one mile radius and fully describe each and every possible interaction, how long would it take you? Unless you're floating in the middle of space, your answer should have been forever. In a word, environmental science is everything. It's the culmination, application, and integration of the pure sciences, along with all other disciplines, including, but not limited to, the arts, mathematics, social studies, physical education, world language, and language arts. Unfortunately, America's public educational system has made a critical mistake in attempting to compartmentalize the field as a separate and isolated discipline. School districts across the country have developed courses in environmental science instead of infusing concepts of sustainability into and across the K-12 curriculum. There's nothing wrong with the students taking a course in environmental science. However, the last time I checked, that's not a requirement for graduation. This is a very serious problem that needs to be corrected. The higher order understanding and critical thinking skills associated with the field of environmental science must be cultivated. Only a well-informed society comprised of eco-literate citizens will be able to overcome the many environmental challenges we face. It's impossible to cover everything about environmental science in this short presentation, but we can try to summarize the major components. Environmental science involves the study of how groups of organisms in a particular area interact with each other and their non-living surroundings. The factors that sustain life are examined, along with the reasons why our Earth is able to support life in the first place. To study environmental science, one needs to realize that just as people acquire economic capital or wealth, the Earth has natural capital in the form of biodiversity or variety of species. The richer the biodiversity, the wealthier or healthier is our planet. Just as certain factors affect a person's wealth, factors such as climate change and resource depletion affect our planet's health. In learning about environmental science, you will come to realize that there exists a natural population referred to as carrying capacity associated with each species and that our technology has allowed the human population to soar well beyond its natural limit. It can be argued that overpopulation is the root cause of many of our environmental problems. The Earth provides us with free services, such as air and water purification that we often take for granted. In studying environmental science, you will learn about these services and appreciate their importance. Food security, or a country's ability to provide enough food for its people, will be examined, as will food production itself. Environmental scientists study the quality and availability of resources, such as water, air, land, and energy. They analyze and attempt to minimize the detrimental effects associated with using these resources. Environmental scientists study human society and look for ways to reduce the footprint or negative impact that our species has on the planet. Environmental science strives to provide people with options that will allow them to enjoy their lives without permanently destroying their surroundings. In studying this field, you will become familiar with the economic and political structures that need to be reevaluated if we are to sustain our way of life. You will find that almost every discipline offered as part of our existing K-12 school curriculum has a role in developing a comprehensive and effective skill base that can and will be applied in the field of environmental science. However, curricula have not yet been designed with sustainability in mind, and that's where you come in. It's important to realize that environmental science is an interdisciplinary field. It defines, explains, and predicts how humans and the world around them coexist. It includes not just the living organisms, but the Earth's non-living components as well. Whatever grade level or discipline you teach, 
you will be able to infuse environmental science into your instruction and your lessons will become an integral part of your students' path to eco-literacy. The following units will introduce you to the most important aspects of environmental science. Although this may not qualify you as an expert in the field, it will make you eco-literate enough to say, Aha! I can use that in my lesson on... And that's what it's all about. Here is your question for Unit 6. Which one of the following disciplines is not an important component of environmental science? Choice A. The arts. Choice B. Physical education. Choice C. Mathematics. Or choice D. None of the above choices are correct. The answer and explanation are provided at the beginning of Unit 7.